In this video tutorial, we will learn about HTML forms. HTML forms are an integral part of a web page. The basic purpose of the form is to collect information from the user. The HTML form is created using form tag. The form tag is the container for all the input controls, such as text input, password fields, checkboxes, radio buttons, submit or reset buttons, select options or select menus, or drop-down boxes, text areas, and buttons. Forms in HTML are created using forms tag. Form tag has its opening and closing of the form tag. The form tag has an attribute, name, through which the form can be uniquely identified on a web page. It also has an attribute, method, in this case the value is get. It also has an attribute action which takes the URL as the value. This is the URL which will process the data submitted by the user. In this case we are using an arbitrary URL to demonstrate the creation of forms. The method can have either get or post as the value. The method get or post signifies how the data is submitted to the URL specified in the actions attribute. In this case, we will be using get as the method. Let us try to create the first input control as a text field. We will use a text as name and then use input tag to create a text field. The type of the attribute will be text and then we will give a name as sname for the input control and close the input tag. In the preview, we observe that text field for name is created. The size of this text field can be changed using the size attribute. 50 means that the text field will be having size of 50 characters. We will try to create another text field for date of birth. We use the same input tag type of the attribute as text and we will give the name as DOB for date of birth. We will use another attribute value. The value specified here will be a string. In this case it is dd slash mm slash yy. Let us see the preview. We find that the whatever text is provided in the value attribute is directly displayed inside the text field. If there is no value attribute used, then the text field will be empty. The next thing we will create is a field for password. We use the same input tag and type will be password. We will also have the name as pwd for this password control and close the input tag. Let us try to see the preview. In the preview we find that the text field will display characters with password field will echo asterisk as the characters. As the size of the text field can be changed in the same way the size of password field can also be changed. We will now demonstrate how to create checkboxes. Checkboxes are used to select multiple options from a set of options. We will use an example of vehicle types for checkboxes. Checkboxes are also created using input tag but the type attribute will be checkbox. And we will also specify name. Close the input tag. And then we will type the text as bike. The next uh, checkbox we will create it as a car. The third one we will create as a SUV. And then the last one we will create it as cycle. Every checkboxes we need to specify the value. In this case, let us use BK for bike. And then we give the value C. A for car and value as SU for SUV and the last thing is we give the value 
for cycle as CY. Note here that all the checkboxes will have the same name. This is because we are grouping the checkboxes of same type. Let us see the preview. We see that the four checkboxes are created. In some scenario, we need to have the checkbox checked by default. To do this, we use an attribute check equal to checked. If you see the preview, you can see that when the form loads, the car checkbox is already checked. Now we try to create radio button. The radio buttons are similar to checkboxes. We will use an example of gender and then create a radio button using the same input tag but the type will be radio. And then we will specify the name. In this case it is gen and the value we will specify as m for male. We will close the input tag and then write the text as male. We will create another radio button. The name of the radio button will be the same as in the case of checkboxes and then we will give the value as f and name it as female. Let us try to preview. We see that two radio buttons are created. The checked attribute can also be used with radio buttons to have a radio button checked by default. Let us try to see the preview. We find that female is already checked. The next thing is we will try to demonstrate how to create select options or drop down boxes. In this case we are taking an example of country. The drop down or select menu is created using select tag. We will specify the name for the select tag. The select tag will have its corresponding closing. Every option in the select tag is created using an options tag. We will try to create the first option as America. Then we will try to create the second option as Germany. And similarly the third option as India and fourth one as Australia. As in the case of check boxes and radio buttons where we were specifying the value, in select also we need to specify the value for the option. So we have specified value US and then we will specify value GR for Germany. And for the third option, India, we will try to specify the value as IN. And then the fourth option, we will try to specify the value as AU. Let us now see the preview. We find that a drop down box or a select box is created. Even in select box or drop down box, we can have an option selected by default using the select attribute. In this case, we have India as pre-selected. So we find that when the form load, India will be select. Let us try to demonstrate how a list box works. With creating list boxes, we will try to take an example of car companies. The list box is also created using a select tag. The first option would be Audi. Second option we will try to create is Mercedes. Third option we will try to create is a Volvo. And the fourth option we will try to create as Toyota. And then we will try to give values for each option. For example, the first one for Audi we will give the value as 80. For Mercedes we will give the value as ME. For Volvo, we will give the values as VO. We will try to use an attribute size in the select tag. The size attribute in this case 3 will specify that 3 options can be visible at a time in the list box.
when the multiple attribute is provided the select tag will work as a list box where multiple options can be selected by pressing the control and selecting multiple options the option in list box can also be pre-selected using the selected attribute The next thing we will try to see is to create submenus. To for creating submenus, we will again use the select tag. And then we will use another tag known as opt group. The opt group specifies options group. An attribute label is used in the options group to label that, that option group. Now in this case we are, will be creating two options group. One with the label morning, the other one with the label afternoon. The option group also has to be closed using the closing of the option group tag. Inside the options group, we will specify different options. Let us try to see the preview. We see that the sub menus are created. Next thing we will try to see is how to create text area. To create text areas, we use text area as the tag. We will specify the name. and then we will see the preview. To increase the size of the text area, we use an attribute columns and 50 represents that it will be 50 characters or 50 columns. Same way we can increase the height of the text area using rows. 10 in rows means that it can have 10 lines or the size can be 10 lines at a time. We can also have the default text in the text area. This default text has to be mentioned within the text area opening and closing tags. Let us try to see the preview. The last thing we will try to see is how to create buttons. To create buttons we will use same input tag but the type attribute will be submit we will provide the name as bt1 and we will provide the value as register. We will create another button with the type as reset and we will specify the name as bt2 and value as clear. Now if we see the preview, there are two buttons created, one with register and the other one as clear. We can also create other buttons using the type as button and value. In this case, we are using value as forgot password to create a forgot password button.
Buttons can also be created using buttons tag. In the buttons tag, the name and type attribute will be the same. But the value provided will be written within the button opening and closing tag. If we see the preview, we find that buttons uh, can be created using input tag as well as buttons tag. Let us try to see how an input control can be made as a read only. In this case, uh, we will try to have a default value for the text field and then we will try to use read only as the attribute. If we provide read only attribute for input control, the value in the input control cannot be changed. In the same way, to disable a control, we can use an attribute disabled. In this video, we have seen all the input controls that can be used to create web forms. In the next video, we will see how to use HTML with CSS.